Okay guys, we're here at the spectacular Invermoy, 22 k's from uh, Nottingham Road, Paul Kutsia's farm, and uh, it's also, uh, as I understand, a stud Angus farm, um, with three beautiful dams, two for the public, or the guests, not the public, uh, when you stay in these, the lovely accommodation here at Invermoy. Invermoy, also the meaning Paul explained to me, is the beginning of the Moy. He's also got, I think, almost eight kilometers of Moy River uh, bank that you can fish the Moy River as well from the farm. So we're really looking forward to the, the couple of days we're going to spend here. And uh, it's really spectacular. It's one of the most beautiful farms I've been on. Just everything, the way it's laid out, the valleys here, the trees, and then obviously the beautiful dams, the still waters and the river. So it really offers everything. Paul already showed me some monster brown trouts from the river and some really good rainbows from the dams here. And uh, they're also fishing a challenge here this coming weekend. Um, so the guys will be fishing these dams. There's another area that we can possibly fish. But guys, very important. I'll tell you more about this rod in a later clip. So have a look out. But this is Snowbee's new range, the new Prestige G XS. And uh, what makes this rod unique is I think there was actually a Nobel Prize for the material that got developed to build this rod. It's called graphene. It's a couple of levels up on nan nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a very fine material they used that gets compressed to get rid of all the air. Now, this is even finer. Graphene is much finer, and I can't remember, that's why I said I'll do another video, but it's something like a thousand. If you divide your hair into a thousand, or a million, or something, that's how fine they can go with this. But it's got hundred times the strength of steel. Now, I wish I can let you guys feel the weight of this, all right? We're undressing this lady, a uh, really pretty lady, um, and with the bag, already you can feel how light this rod is. Now look at that, already took the plastic off. And always start with your tip. And I put that together and then I'm quickly just going to put some backing on my reel. And then add my fly line on, my leader. I'll put tomorrow morning or maybe still tonight. I don't know. Have a look, see. This is a five weight. And you must experience how light this rod is. Now, another thing, the guys that have, look how thin that is. The guys that's, that's been fishing these rods already, um, this is a five weight, but because these rods have got the new technology, they recover, it's a very fast action rod compared to the traditional fly rods and the older materials. And it recovers a bit quicker. Got a lot of backbone for a five weight. Um, so I'm gonna match it with a six weight line because it's got that extra backbone and that fast, uh, fast taper and fast correction to be able to throw a six, six weight nicely. Um, this is authentic fly fishing. The whole venue we're at and everything we're gonna experience here and we'll take you guys with us on this journey. I'm really looking forward to that. And then obviously the Spectra reel. I like the gun metal. Um, the guys obviously fishing the, the wild rivers, the small streams. Don't like the silver, just for, for shine, possible shine that can spook the fish. But for the still waters, I'm more than happy to use the, the gun metal. All right, guys, I'll show, I'll run separate clips with all the knots we do, because it's very difficult showing it with this thin material like braid. We'll do it with rope and show you guys. So I'm just gonna quickly spool up my, my braid on it. do this without a proper single malt whiskey. Cheers!
guys now this is uh, the really nice part you can uh, stick it on your back and go for a walk about walk from dam to dam without the hassle of trying to carry it all there we go awesome little patent bulletproof proper like like you'll find this is 0.7 mil um, but like you would find a proper rubber duck and uh, you blow up chair space to put your goodies fish on strap there's two bags for for more stuff now i didn't bring a champagne bottle to break on the nose but uh, i think we could put a bit of coffee it's early morning a little bit of coffee on the on the front here and i'm taking the patching kit which it's a catch-22 either it's a bad omen taking a patching kit on your first day or just making sure i don't lose it somewhere so i'll leave it in the boat but it's chill this morning it's really cold still so i'm not looking forward to getting onto the water from that perspective so i've got neoprene socks on got my flippers i'll stick in here now and then it's a for away then we go uh, find those big rainbows and hopefully some browns the river's got some browns in look for the deeper pools this is the time they almost start spawning now so always you need to keep that in mind look these are all catch and release areas so that's great that's not a problem but um, when you come to these these spots if there's a river section shallow water don't go tramping it even if you want to cross a river don't go tramping it this whole Midlands area, the, the trout are spawning in the rivers. There's a lot of wild trout and they lay their eggs. They're not bright orange like everyone thinks always, but you can't, in a lot of, or a lot of cases, you can't see them. Don't cut tramp over it and uh, spook the poor fish in any case. So just be considerate, whatever, even any facet of fishing, just be considerate about your area. I mean, for farmers, they allow people onto their farms to come fish this pristine section. It's a privilege. It's not your right because you're paying. Uh, that's a big mistake a lot of people make. You can't go do what you want. You must still respect your, your surroundings and that it's not your property and nature in general. And just uh, leave it the way you found it. Don't damage anything or find a short or quick solution by damaging maybe some property. Okay, and that's how simple it is, guys. On your back, and you can walk from dam to dam, hook it off, and go. I'm sure, you know, depending, well, these dams are crystal clear. Um, not a lot of muck drifting around. If you had to do that on hearties, your whole back will be green. But uh, take a piece of cloth um, in one of your pockets, and then just wipe it before you put it in your back after you've used it. So quite a nifty little setup. You see the boat gives you the peacock motion. Yes, okay, I'm giving it a couple of minutes before I get into the water, cold water. Having a couple of casts just here off the jetty. But it is still very early with the cold weather in the winter. They take a bit of time to, to get going. They're very slow early morning. Switching to a heavier fly, it's quite deep here. When I fish this while it's still early and ice flip and cold, 
You guys are catching me just when my jawbone stopped rattling. But nothing, you, there's just nothing more tranquil than this. I'm just fishing still very dark because we're fishing deep. It's got a tungsten head so it sinks quickly. It's the black woolly bugger with a bit of blue shine. Finally the fish are warming up a bit. Feels like it's got a small one here. Yeah? See how it took off there? And you realize now it's hooked. No ways. I thought it's a small fish. That fish didn't know it was hooked. <laughs> Unless a big fish took it. We're on the lovely Invermoy and yesterday we uh, tried the dam, lost a very nice fish um, and uh, called it the day, I was actually freezing. Today's even colder, it was rain and thick thick mist this morning. So it's a bit later now, it's almost, I think it's past nine already. And uh, they brought us up here to the private dam, a trophy dam, where very few people get a chance to fish. So I feel quite privileged with that. And uh, they're fishing the tournament uh, down at the other two dams today and tomorrow. So it looks like I'm going to have a chance to fish this piece of pristine water. We're way up in the mountain. We came up quite high from where the other dams are. And this is the farmer's private uh, trophy dam. So yes, we're going to kick it off. I think I'm going to throw exactly this. Quickly yell off the dam wall. And uh, then jump on the float tube just now. So yes, I've piloting the the snowby spectra reel with this fantastic snowby prestige g xs five weight and uh, the snowby intermediate three inch per second line and we'll give that a good shot i've got a little tungsten woolly bugger here now first i think i'm just going to throw that start off with that up in the morning in this great blue state golden fingers caress my face slips through the window on a silky breeze a dreamer's life to plant some seeds Every element of faith 
every color that's attached She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea For the ancient memories Just as fleeting as a breeze She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea Keep him in the water a bit. Make sure your hands are wet when you're going to touch the fish. Small little woolly bugger I used. Black with blue. I would love to measure this fish. Okay guys, I'm trying to measure this. I've only got 50 centimeters. See there? It's a 67. Look at that. Get him back. What a nice fight. What a worthy, worthy opponent. Chris and uh, the new Snowby Prestige with my Spectra. Very, very chuffed with that. But it doesn't end there.